Hey guys, welcome back to Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem. This is going to be the last video of this particular series. I am Sajik, and we're going to be heading into episode 5 of 5, which is High Tech Terror. And as I say, the last level of this case. So let's go to this save here and load up the cutscene. So now we know that Sherman Tech is behind all of this, but why? According to my research, Sherman Tech is using all of that land to build giant antennas. I wonder what they could be for. Well, there's only one place we'll find the answer to that. Sherman Tech headquarters. I've already called Sherman Tech and arranged for us to get on a tour of their facilities. While Freddie Daphne and I are taking the tour, Shaggy and Scooby will sneak off and look for- The Raffleteria? No. Clues. Specifically, clues about antennas. Like there could be antennas in the cafeteria. <laughs> oh, brother. Welcome to Sherman Tech. Do you think we'll be able to meet Mr. Sherman? Uh, Mr. Sherman is a busy man. No, no, not that busy. Mr. Sherman, it's an honor. May I introduce my chief scientific officer, Selena Drake? We're currently working on some exciting new technology. Perhaps you'd like to see it? Of course! Especially if it involves low-frequency electromagnetic waves. Yes, they're our favorites. <clears throat> well, why don't we start? All right, you two. Now try to find as many clues as you can. We'll try to do that, Daphne and um, see what's happening in this place called Sherman Tech. We'll probably find nothing at all is happening. Now we can get a food item almost immediately in this cafeteria. Just go over here and use the... I don't know what it is you have to do to get it. Just press X a lot of times and then you will get it. I'm not sure what the conditions are for it but never mind. Now this is going to be quite a stealthy section. Uh, the game does require us to take our time. So we'll just switch to Scooby Doo. Uh, this leads to the elevator, but we can't go this way if I remember. Yeah, there's a camera blocking our way. Um, actually, let's just get ourselves detected on purpose, because this will trigger another cut, uh, another objective. Yes. Yep. Stay out of restricted areas, please. Will do. Yeah. And then he walks off. So another goal is added automatically by doing that, disable the security cameras. You can actually complete that objective without even um, going into security cameras, so don't worry too much. Uh, so now we want to go down this way, not the camera way. Now you want to sneak just behind these boxes. If you run, he will be alerted. Um, and all you have to do is just sneak up here. Assuming Scooby doesn't get himself caught. Run up here. Get the first clue. A floppy disk. Yep, run this way and into the pool room. The costume will only last to here, so you do have to go to here. Uh, this is an interesting little office. Does it remind you of an office of some similarity to cutscenes? Uh, get this one. Run to the left. Off to security cameras. Have a nice day. Get in here. I believe Dr. Drake was looking for you, sir. Dr. Drake? We're on our way. You've got to make sure that this pops before he go uh, while he's going in there, otherwise he'll turn around and catch you. Anyway, pull the lever to turn off the security cameras, and none of the guards will notice anything about this, they'll just then I'll just won't notice anything. That completes that objective. Um, yeah, so let's just... Oh, pardon me, excuse me folks. Right, run down this way. Now put on this uh, thing here. This will deposit you in the main hall. Now if you come through the doors from there, which is the cafeteria, you'll just be immediately spotted. So take the clothes that go up here. The uh, reason to go up here is this will lead to a clue. It also leads to the elevator as well. 
There's a clue. Did I just see a guard down there? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, put this on. Run this way. And we've reached the elevator, and all you have to do is dive in before the guard sees you. There we go. Cutscene as well. Like, stay close to me, Scoob. They have? Perfect. No, let them go on. We'll take care of it. As we speak, your friends are bringing the Tome of Doom back to its rightful owner. Me. <laughs> Zoinks! Like, I guess we can only go forward now! Yeah, forward! Unfortunately, we have to go and rescue Fred, Velma, and Daphne because it looks as if they're under some sort of mind control. They weren't reacting at all to what Selena Drake was saying. Yeah, find them. That's all we have to do. Now, this is an interesting particular challenge. If you go over here, uh, you will find the puzzle to this clue. It's actually very easy, just don't have it read. So it's one. One, two, one. Doing that will open up this push button, which will unlock the security gates. So we have one item already. You can only find four items in the main uh, location here. There's another that you have to get as a bonus, effectively. Now, where is... Uh, the security guard, he's here. Now, but what's to lure him in here, actually? Yeah, get him to come through here. I know this seems a bit silly, but if we get him here, we can then lock him in place if he doesn't follow me around. <laughs> come on. Damn it. And I can't use that because I don't have the ability to do so. Oh, he came through, damn it. That just ruined my entire plan. I like how he giggles. Anyway, got the blue key card. Yeah, she did hear something. You heard me creeping around. Use that to unlock the thing. Just fire your gun. Oh, come on, press the button. That'll keep him busy. But if I could find something that will increase my health, that would be great because I've wasted it all in this one zone. And then head to the teleporter to head to the next section of the lab. As you can see, they're shaking a little bit from the low cool meter. This area is certainly not going to help. I remember I can find something here. Gonna try and um, find it. If you go over here, there is a Scooby snack at least. There's a red key card here. We should just pick this up because we will need it. And then stop here again just for a second because I want to. Um, There's nothing there, okay. Switch to Scooby. And then crawl in this crawl space, which is nastily positioned to get yourself caught. Unlock this. You can't go in there, unfortunately, but you have to unlock that door. Go back through. Hopefully not get losing your cool. I'm not alright either, because we're all shaking in fear. Well, we won't have to worry about this too much more because we're going to drive a robot. Rook, Waggy, a robot. Yeah, move the analog stick like so. I don't know why this requires a cutscene, but fine. Now, a food item will appear here when we're going back, um, but we will have to get on our travels in our return. All you have to do is use the robot to um, 
kill off the steam. Oops. And then turn that. Turn off the four steam vents and that'll kill off everything. Now the robot, um, if you are detected, the robot can be an enemy to you. So just be aware of that. Turn. Doing that will turn off the steam vents in this main area, which means we can finally navigate without uh, being detected. So we'll just take this box of Scooby Snacks to fill us right back up to the top. Before we continue, go over here. Now it is possible to get into this bit while the steam's running, but it's really difficult. So I recommend doing this after you've turned off the steam vents. It'll get you the eggs. So that's the second one. Another difficult section upcoming. Yeah, please do wait for me. Crawl through this space and hopefully not be detected, which we haven't been. Now this passageway is pointless. See if we can get the. Yeah, come on, in you come. Yeah, you did hear something. Now come in here. There's actually no purpose to this particular section at all. Get him to stop. Lock him in there. Because there's literally actually no purpose to that little bit at all. It's just to lock him in. Anyway, go here to the control panel to control another robot. Yes, it's a robot. Um, actually, pressing that button seems to turn off some cameras. Um, I think, or maybe it's just a. I don't know. Uh, you want to get the robot? Want to do that? Uh, pull this right back. Come on. You need to go back as far as you can get it. I think that's it. Yep. There we go. Oh no, the controls are still active, so we need to press this cam this button to turn off two of the cameras. Note two, not all three. The one right by the exit is actually permanently guarded. What I want to do is to get Shaggy, obviously. This one is one of the quickest running expiring um, costumes in the game. Put it on and then dive straight to it as fast as you can because it will only last a short amount of time. Just enough for you to be able to get into the transporter. As you'll see, it just expires almost immediately, as you can see. Um, looks as if we've got some ghost problems down here. Let's just press this button. It unlocks the door. No, it locks the door. And now we have to get rid of these, go uh, these guys. Hey, that's not fair. You can't just walk right into me like that. Come on. Time to get rid of these guys for good. Now, there are some zombies hidden behind a force field over there, you'll notice. Uh, don't worry about that because they will be for later when we're exiting. And we got rid of them, and that unlocks our way out, helpfully. I'm just going to take a bit of health, if I can find one that's not a... Uh, it's not in these ones, it's over here if I remember. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Uh, should I take a save? Uh, let's just take a save, might as well. Just use up all slots for these saves, why not? It's not like I'm going to be playing the game again after this. I can tell you that for a start, I will not be playing it again. I've done it in pure quality and I've done it in high quality. That's well enough for you guys. Now, around here we will find a clue. We've also got to avoid the security guards. I think I heard something. If you did... Nope, we're just going to get out of your way very quickly. Now, the goal here is to get onto the... Um, 
um, there's a costume around here and what we need to do is to simply get the costume on and fall down and get down to here before it expires to trigger a cutscene. Um, we're also going to get this clue as well. What's this doing here, Scoob? Ooh, I don't know. So he's down, he's up here for some reason. So we need him to reach the over there. He doesn't seem to notice us, which is great. He's wandering down the right way. So as you'll notice, no track for this. We just got to rush as fast as we can down here, like so, and that will trigger this cutscene. Oh, hi guys! Listen, I really need to take a break. Think you can cover for me? Uh, sure, but great. Here, take my keycard. Like, take all the time you need. I do like how he didn't even bother to verify that we were an actual person. He just walked straight off and took a break. Is he still here? Um, I think he's just wandered off. Yeah, so he's given us the key card that allows us to do whatever without any concerns at all. Uh, we do need to get that key card because otherwise without it we will not be able to unlock this force field which is in the next zone. So we just take the force uh, field transporter thingy to the final section. Now I know I just saved. I'm going to do it again just because right here there's a bit where we can lose all our cool and I do want to have a, a a quick and easy restart point rather than having to repeat a section over and over again. So we'll go through here. Now there are electric uh, thunder uh, thingies coming down and we've got to just navigate our way through without getting killed. Just go through that gap. Go down here, shag it. Um, how many clues do we have actually? So we've got three clues. We're going to get the final two in a minute. Uh, let's see. So use this. All right, I'm driving the robot. Great. Now let's just get it. let's get it to do its our bidding. All I have to do is drive this straight over and push the button. No, how about no? He'll just wander. He's just coming to us anyway. I'll just make a run for it and we'll get another cutscene. Raggy, Rook, Daphne, Fred, Velma! Boy, are we glad to see you guys. Guys? I'm afraid they can't hear you. Uh -huh. Huh? They're under our control now. Like, what are you saying? My greatest invention. Behold, the mind-altering alpha wave modulator. Uh, it's a mind control device. Oh! <laughs> Antenna have been placed throughout the country. Soon we will use them to make everyone buy our products. We'll destroy the competition. Selena, how about a demonstration for our new friends? Delighted to. Like it's all right. <laughs> really, like we already had some alpha waves on the way over. Hey, right, Scoob? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Selena, what's going on? I don't understand. Their simple minds must be immune somehow. It doesn't matter. Meddling kids, rid us of these fools. <laughs> Come on, Scoob. We've got to find a way to turn off that machine. Yes, while well, he gets cut off in mid sentence. And yes, uh, we do now have to avoid our friends. So, what's our goal? Overload the machine. So, all I have to do is press these buttons all over the place and avoid uh, being attacked by these, our friends. Ah! Get lost. And you'll hear them saying all sorts of things, just avoid them as best as you can. There's no way to completely get rid of them because they will just follow you all over the place. Now there is a food item to be found in this area, there's also a clue that we can find down here. 
damn it, this is going to box us in a little bit. God damn it, they will hit with pretty good accuracy, to be honest. Just run about as best as you can, push the buttons, because they will always take shortcuts to get to you in some way or another. Oh, for Christ's sake. Just get out of the way. There we go. Run about as best as you can, push the button. Now this one will not work. What it'll do is unlock this passageway over here if we can get up it before it closes. There we go. Hey, that's not fair. You tried Scooby. Yeah, come on. So that gate doesn't really matter for them. They will just walk through it as you can see. Now the food item uh, there's something ringing the doorbell, which is unhelpful, but we're just going to ignore that. Now this control panel here won't work. This one just deactivates the area to the bacon. But apparently it counts, I think. Push this button. And then we will be done with this section. I think we have all the clues. Yeah, we do. Push the button. were mind controlled by that Sherman guy. So, the giant antennas were for amplifying alpha wave modulations. Or in layman's terms, mind control. Ingenious. Enough! Seize them! No. You'll rue the day you messed with... What did you say? I said no. Just who do you think you are? Mr. Mr. Dinsdale? That special agent Dinsdale if you don't mind. Jinkies! All this time I thought you were just my local librarian. What, I can't have a second job? <laughs> Travis Sherman, you are under arrest for fraud, conspiracy, and book tampering. I don't understand. Like is the book overdue? <laughs> it's quite simple, you guys. Agent Dinsdale was investigating the peculiar land acquisitions at Greenwood Development, but he couldn't get a good lead. So he let us have a go at it, and kept tabs on us the whole time. Sharp as ever, Miss Dinkley. I'm sorry I had to lead you on like this, but Sherman was just too big to touch without solid evidence. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been- Sherman, you fool! You should have let me deal with those kids when I had the chance! <gasps> Don't let her get away! Let's see how you meddling kids handle this! <laughs> well, that's no good. She's launched Fire Ghosts, and unfortunately we can't take Fire Ghosts down because we never get the page from the Tome of Doom for that. She holds on to it the whole time. So all we have to do is capture all monsters in every zone. Um, we'll get a clue in a minute. Uh, so to get rid of fire ghosts, it's very obvious these sprinklers will be used to cool them down. And once they're cooled down, you can then take them out normally as a normal ghost. Like so. Uh, let's just get some Tolo Doom stuff. Now before we talk to Velma, we're going to head out this way, which has been helpfully de-electrified. Pick up this clue. And then go back to Velma. These are the last ones of the game. See, well, I've collected all clues in this game, actually. Right, so here are the clues. There's a file named Project Alpha on the disk, but it's encrypted. Yeah, but we know what it is. <laughs> this is a note from Selena Drake, reminding all employees to turn off their portable radios during Project Alpha tests. Um. This one. Now, one thing I will note is there is a bit of a, a weird sound glitch in this particular uh, playback of this recording. It's on all versions, by the way. This is a list of people who have undergone some kind of test. Most are marked successful, but a few are marked serious complications. I don't know why she says complications like that. I think it's just a sound glitch, but never mind. It's, it's kind of silly. Anyway, those three things we just discovered, so I don't understand what the point of having them is, because we learned these things during the cutscene. Anyway, uh, a melted fire extinguisher is next. 
Something really hot must have melted this fire extinguisher. It's unlikely a normal fire would have done such damage. I agree. This is a map showing the placement of Sherman Tech's giant antennas throughout North America. A pretty useless clue because we know who the bad guy is, but fine. Now, how many food items do we have? We have three. Now, we can get one more in this segment, and the last one has actually got a special requirement to get it, uh, which is rather frustrating. A uh, bit of lag there. Now, I will just say, going back through this section, there is massive lag spikes. And I don't know what causes it. Um, it just happens for some reason. I just get a huge spike of lag in this segment. I don't know if it's just because of all the graphics, but it's quite frustrating. You will see it, no doubt. Oh, damn it. Get back here. I bet you if he's turned into a fire ghost now, he has damn. Let's get rid of this. Yes, get back into the, the book. There we go. Now I've got to find out where that ghost is. Yes, he is. Get him. Get rid of him. And we have to get rid of all monsters because the gates are all blocked up by force fields and things like that. This way. Oh, damn it. Come on. Oh, no, damn it. I do now need to find some health because I'm running out of health. Unhelpfully. If one of them touches me, I'm screwed. I'm going to have to. That's perfect timing just to lock them all down like this. Catch that one, and there we go. Force fields blocking up every exit is so frustrating. Now around here there should be some snacks. There's one, there's another one, and there's another one. And let's progress. So this is back where that camera was blockading the way. It's not now, it's because it's been disabled, helpfully. Let's get rid of this ghost. One more ghost in the book. And we have to progress just into this little bit here. I don't think there's actually any uh, wisp generators in this area, so we just have to make sure we have enough. Um, where is the wisp generator at? Actually, there must be one, surely, because I'm about to run out of um, energy for my book. Well, there's no wisp. Um, generator here? Oh there it is, I just saw it. Has to have been one, because that would be a bit silly. Just get that. And then we can get rid of the final ghost. Well, final zombie thing just stuck in a corner for some reason. And there we go. Making our way back very slowly at this point. So there's not much for you to say because it's really quite linear and very obvious what we have to do here. Just make our way back, defeating monsters in each of the zones we just went through. Back through here. And I think this is where there's a bit of a difficult one. Yeah, so there is a thing now blocking our exit. And not a force field, but equivalent to a force field. This bit we can only use Scooby to get rid of the two monsters. Which is frustrating because they're only in this... Oh, damn it. This fire ghost. Come on. Actually, hang on, I just want to cut connection for this dude so I can get rid of him faster. That was close, almost lost it. There we go, get this one. No you don't because you're not saying anything uh, Shaggy, you're not part of this. So doing that will get rid of the force um, field protection thingy. Now go into this door here, whatever the hell it is, here. And all the smoke's gone, all the steam's gone. If you look around the back, you'll find the fourth ingredient, the slab of meat. Whoa, that was some lag. Don't know what caused that. I think it's just the game's unoptimized. Anyway, hang on. So we've got four items. Uh, the last one I'll, I will talk about later because it's not until the end. 
I'll just uh, get some health um, treats first. Come on. There. I think I can find one more over here. Yeah, I can. Perfect. And I've helped to uh, regenerate. Oddly enough, the thing that just came uh, down from this disappears, if you have noticed just during that little movement. Kind of frustrating that it does that, but it doesn't really affect anything, it's just a graphical glitch. Let's just switch characters, come on. I prefer uh, using Shaggy for this. Just get rid of this ghost. Like so. Just enough help, uh, stuff for that. And I've got enough to just stand here and definitely get an uh, infinite supply of wisps. And then there should be another uh, zombie around here somewhere. Yep, there we go. I don't know why they're obsessed with just using ghosts and zombies. You could have easily brought in any enemy, like shadows or. Um, what was the ones in level 2? Poltergeists, but they didn't. They just made all of them genetic zombies and ghosts, basically, which is kind of sad. But that was all we had to deal with. And it almost back to start. And this bit is a little bit cruel because there's only wisps to be found here, no wisp generator. So we're just going to have to hope we don't waste the wisps because otherwise we will run out of energy for the book. Dude, here we go. Health like the fire ghost won't attack or it'll do that. I did say it would attack but then it just did because it wandered right into me because the zombie got in the way. Here we go. Where is this ghost? There. Get rid of it. And there we go. So that's all the zombies for the research lab section. Uh, there are a few more to come up, don't worry. Oh, come on. Get that. Anything over here? Nope. Well, this will just have to do. Let's exit the research labs and head up to the main part, the main floor. We start right here. Now, there's, I'm actually just going to disconnect that a second. There's actually a really easy way to get rid of all these ghosts without being uh, in the way of anything. Go up this way, because then none of their attacks will hit you. Hang on. Oh, that was a m Whoa, what's that lag? I've never seen that before. Uh, I think that's just a game uh, optimization issue. Let's just try and get rid of this zombie. Go. Now you can only go the way that they, uh, the game allows you to and um, it's not possible to go any other direction and um, so any secret routes you might have taken are no longer usable, you have to go back the main route. Christ, I suppose. This one's actually really frustrating because the, the space is so small. Come on. Now I've just got to get back. There we go, just avoided getting uh, caught there. Unlock another force field, there's plenty of them. Oh god, ow, not fair. Yes, yeah, so you see all the routes we originally went, they're all blocked off now, so if you missed any clues from there, you're not going to get them now. Need to get near this generator. That allows us to keep going with this. There we go. That's the way on. Uh, so if you try to go over here, for example, just say this, the door's locked, which is unfortunate. But never mind. Let's head this way to defeat the final ghosts of the game. I'm gonna get rid of the, the ghost first, though, because I hate the ghost. He's a frustrating guy because if you let go of him, 
he will just revert back to a fire ghost, so we just have to keep him out of the, the potential to do that. These guys are just fighting themselves for some reason. Come on. There we go. Come on. And we can just stay right here and get into the charge in our group. And this has captured all ghosts. And now we just have to exit the building. If I remember correctly, if we try to go up there, it won't let us. This door is locked as well. And up here I think this passage is also locked. I'm not sure why, but it's just to force you to go a particular direction if I remember. Yeah, door locked. Seems a bit arbitrary, but I think it's to stop you from trying to get past um, the, the monsters. It's to make sure you go the way they want you to. And I'm going to take one final save and then we're going to head out into the final boss battle. Which is going to be very frustrating. But uh, the benefit is that we can get the final food item in this final boss battle and I'll explain how we do it in a minute. But first, cutscenes. Let's open the door and get a cutscene. Any sign of Selena Drake? There she is, up on the roof! <laughs> Let it go, Selena. It's over! My dear Travis. Did you really believe I got you into this in order to sell VCRs? There's only one goal worthy of my genius. With the Alpha Wave Modulator, I shall rule the world! <laughs> She's completely mad! Well, duh. <laughs> Prepare to face the Tome of Doom's most powerful spirit. Oh, King of Fire! Share my vengeance! So basically just a super fire ghost. Not helpful, in the slightest. Um, so this part is where we can get the final food ingredient, and we're going to do that just in a minute. You guys go and catch the fire ghost's attention. I'll try to reverse the antenna's polarity and make it rain. And unfortunately, Selena Drake has managed to release like God knows what. Handle, Evade fireballs while Velma reverses the antenna's polarity Well, no shit. Uh, turn on all sprinklers to neutralise the fire ghost boss. Now, to get the final food ingredient, you basically need to convert see two of these smaller fire ghosts. You need to get two of them to go under the sprinkler handle and then kill them off. That will spawn the final one. I'll just turn this one because it's the most obvious. Yeah, do that. That'll just free up this space now. Come on, dudes. Stop firing things at me. Come on, run into the water. No, we're not going to stop that. I want to catch this ghost, actually. Now I need to get another one. Uh, it doesn't matter if you keep killing the, the small ghosts, because they will just um, they will just uh, keep being respawned by the fire ghost boss. There's no real point. But you need to just kill two of them, and we will get the final. Oh. Now I don't understand what Velma's doing, because she stood literally right there. Um, doing nothing. Oh, go onto the sprinkler handles, please. That would be nice. Now, to get these uh, things to. Come on. I don't know what it is you do to. Oh, come on. Damn it. This is frustrating, this section, because they're so strong. Come on. go under. Yes, he did. And that's the one I wanted to get rid of. And there you go. Kill the second one, you get the final food item. Find the onion. Now, I have to get some um, sustenance here, because otherwise I will die, literally. Come on. That helps. The graphical glitch abuse there to get another uh, sprinkler going. So we've got two of them. 
and I need to get 3 and 4 running. Now can I abuse any graphical glitches again to uh, get these out? No, not there. Go almost, come on, get the final ones. That was close. Can I get the last one here? Come on. There we go, yes. Now we'll get number three going. No, we won't. And this is just opening up the arena a bit more for later. Perfect. Thank you, Fire Ghost, for being so accommodating for my goal to get rid of you. And that's all you have to do, for this bit anyway. I think a ghost like that would just die that quickly. Unfortunately, this means we now have to get rid of the the slightly not fiery ghost. Now, it is possible to do this without getting... Um, oh, come on. Come on, get out of the way. It is possible to do this without even taking any hit point damage. Come on. You could just stand here and dive out of the way constantly without taking any damage. Come on. Oh, damn it, I closed it. I'll just stay here and keep taking this guy out. No, 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 don't do that. That was close, and that's not helpful. Get away from this dude quickly. My heart's going ten to a dozen, as it always does on this boss battle. This guy just constantly dives at you, basically. He just only cares about you. No one else. Just need to get him out of the way so that I can get to this thing. And then I can get rid of him. Almost. And uh, there we go, we've completed the game. Yes! This cannot be! Let me go! Blast you meddling kids! Shaggy, Scooby, I want to thank you both for your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Like it wasn't easy, you know. We've been attacked by ghosts, shadows, mummies. Zombies? Oh, would some Scooby Snacks make it all better? Scooby, Scooby Snacks! How did you... I did my homework. Hey, what gives? Hmm, using the Tome of Doom to snatch away snacks. Now that's one for the books. Dooby dooby doo! And that's just completed the game, folks. Now I think we might get a credits run here, so I may have to pause the recording. Oh no, I don't. So we've got the five clues, we've got the five snacks, but unfortunately I can't show the credits reel. Mainly because uh, it will be picked up for copyright. Um, the intro you may have noticed in part one was edited a little bit. It didn't actually go that way. It was going to be me playing the intro and then jumping in, but I had to cut out the intro because of the fact that it got picked up for copyright. Pardon me. So that's just done with the game. Again. I don't know how many views this will get, but we will find out. So I think we might go into a credit run. I will pause, stop the recording if that happens. Uh, we will get this um, little bit here. If this goes into a credit reel, I'm just going to pause the recording. I don't know why I paused the recording, I could have just pressed triangle. Anyway, that is Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem for the PS2. I hope you enjoyed this revival let's play of that game. Well, otherwise it got the most views on my channel, I wonder if it'll get me any more views this time around. I doubt it because I think that fad's passed, but we'll see. So thanks for watching, I'm Sir Duke, 
and I will see you next time in Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, because that's what's going to replace this game. And um, that might take a lot longer than five parts. I'm pretty sure it'll take at least 12 or maybe more. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. I'm Sajuk, and I see, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye now.